Hello and welcome to a Smurpy video and this is another Marvel Legends series X-Men review and this is Marvel's Cyclops the last figure of 2022 and from what we gather is in 2023 well they're not going to give us any X-Men however it's a big year for X-Men so you can only hope that they do or not um these are feel like these are either here and miss. They're either your thing or they're not your thing. I, to be honest with you, other than Morph, I could easily have skipped these. But I decided to get them. So, so shading and all, they are either your thing or they are not your thing. So there is the package, which is a good old classic VHS one. And they did create VHS tapes like these uh, back when they were coming out i'm not sure what order but i do remember them there's a sign which you've obviously seen classic x-men animated sign and on the back there he is scott summers aka cyclops is one of xavier's very first students and fights tire tirelessly for xavier's dream as the x-men field leader remember this is based on animated cyclops and i guess not Comic Cyclops, I guess that's the only way that I can say that. Makes sense? Anyway, let's get him out of his packaging. He's environmentally friendly packaging. And let's have a closer look. Okay, so here is uh, Cyclops out of the packaging. And um, I've, I, I instinctively liked uh, the, the head sculpt because Scott Summers was always a sort of a serious character in there but it really does actually look like a cyclops it's really at, it's actually really bizarre compared to some of the other figures that we've had i'm just trying to get that to focus on there if it will come on yeah you're not gonna do that are you of course you're not um i've got to say the the slint for the optic blast is very thin and it's not very easily identified as ruby red in there. Obviously, the ruby quartz uh, protecting it, etc. And then you've got this lovely sort of brown hair on the top, which looks very nice. I love the uniform. I love this dark uniform. In fact, the, sh the shell shading on here actually looks pretty decent and makes me think, actually, I could easily get the get away with this as a... A comic figure. Now we have seen this Cyclops before, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, well, a similar Cyclops from what 2016, the Warlock Wave, if I remember correctly. Uh, but I feel like they've done some improvements, and I do hope they go back and make a comic version using this sort of mold, etc. And this is the pinless arms as well, which I think are new. Whereas the old one probably would have been on the Cappy, Cap Buck, Buck, Captain Bucky, Captain America Bucky mold, obviously. There we go. It just all looks very, really, very nice. Very, very cool. So let's just put him there. I'm just going to bring that back a little bit. And I'm just going to bring in that Cyclops. So you can see they've done away with the loose pieces there. I mean, you can see that that's just dropping that bug the hell out of me. I'm not going to lie. And same with these, these aren't so bad, they stay in place more or less, but you can see that there is a more of a orange twang there, whereas this is more solid animation yellow. And even these pieces look different on there as well. So, and the head pieces, and he actually looks a little bit taller as well. So you can see there is a difference between this new Cyclops animation version compared to what we've seen before. But um, I still like my, my Cyclops here as well. But um, would, would I get rid of this? I certainly won't. I mean, most people that watch my videos know I'm a massive Cyclops fan. And I'm, I probably keep most of the Cyclops fan. But I've always tried to uh, keep a difference in terms of these uh, shell, cell shaded uh, figures compared to the current figures. I feel like there is a difference. Different universe, different dimension. Um, I guess my biggest... Even though this is seems like a new mold, 
I guess my biggest uh, annoyance is that they haven't given us a second head with optic blasts far now. A little bit disappointed. And so we've got little hands. Oh, sort of grabby hands, you know. I'm not going to do anything rude, I promise. And then we have the optic blast hand, which actually let's just take it off so it gets carefully. Oh, I say carefully. That didn't feel very careful at, at all. Let me just carefully put that in. Now this is going to be the interesting part. Does it meet our standards of... Oh, that is absolute... Sorry, it helps if I'm showing you. That is tight, man. Oh, I'm loving that. Look at that. Yes, you don't mess with me. I am Cyclops of Eternia. That's He-Man, by the way. Um, Anyway, I really, really do dig him in. The fact that it just seems very seamless, actually. And I really, like I said, I really do hope we get a sort of comic version with this figure. But so far, so good. So let's, um, before I do articulation, let's show him with the rest of the team. So here is the team together as a whole. And you can see they look really, really, really nice together. I really do like how these animation figures have turned out. I still feel like they're a hit and miss. Um, they're not for they're not everybody's cup of tea, um, but I'm happy just to have a streamlined animated figure. Um, the fact that <laughs> some of them are just figures that we've been released, um, it is a little bit irritating. But some of these are, are really nice gems, and for people that have only got into the game in terms of Marvel Legends over the last couple of years, I feel like it's also a nice opportunity. So I'm just going to put um. Two villains at the back. If I can get them there. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Up a little bit. And there we go. There is the whole animated team. Animated teams. Now, I guess I feel like we lacked in terms of villains. I feel like it, it's great that we've got lots of decent X-Men. And there have been animated versions of Apocalypse this year from the animated show. And you could say we got animated beast, I guess, just without the shell shading. But personally, I still fit, feel like it would have been nice to have some more villains in the mix. But hey, it's not the end of the world. I feel like they still look very, very awesome. So let's look at articulation. Okay, so here we go with articulation. And I've just swapped the hand so you can see the open palm hand which is a bit strange and then he's got a little punchy hand as well so that's always a good start dropping him great articulation there so anyway i'm sorry if i've been sniffing in the background i have flu but i'm still doing this and i'm still working and all that good stuff so there we go so we got butterfly there we got whole 360 there we can do spinny there on the end and then you got spinny here. And then there is the pinless joints. And it is double. And then you got a little up and a little down. A little turning around. And then he has the herb crunch. So there is waist swivel. In terms of splits, he actually does all right. He does really all right. And then you got a swivel there. And you got a double. Oh my goodness. Um, you can tell that I've barely done anything with him and there are lots of recommendations about lo loosening some of the joints because sometimes when they're stiff they can become dangerous and break really easily i'm one of these people that tries not to move the joints too much and sometimes they naturally change as well but i think uh, i think the recommendations is you can use a hairdryer uh, boiling water i have used that a couple of times with heads when i've had uh, issues Getting the heads popped on. And then there's a little spin there. A lefty, a righty, a upsy, and a downsy. I'm pretty sure that is not even the way. So there we go. So he has some really, really nice articulation. And I really do, I really actually do like this figure. You know, I've, throughout reviewing these figures over this last year, I have had, um, Many a gripes with them, many a whinges about them, but this one, actually, I really, really do like him. I think he's very, very nice. I like the stone face. I would have liked um, some more 
uh, another head with a optic blast effect that would have been like the best thing ever but hey we cannot have everything anyway i hope you like my video if you do please support my channel by subscribing thank you to those that are already subscribed appreciate you folks make sure you look after yourself very important these days and as always embrace geekiness take care goodbye